Hey guys, in this one, I'm gonna show you how to get these couple of aesthetic looks in iOS 14. So I'm gonna go through all the steps of getting the images, downloading them, getting them onto your phone, using all the new widgets, apps, getting them onto your phone, and then all of the other steps that you have to go through to get everything looking pretty much just like this. Hope it helps. I'm gonna get into the phone so we can go through all of the steps that we need to go through. So the first thing before we do anything is actually to download a couple of apps that you're gonna need for this. So the first is Widgetsmith, as you can see it here in the App Store. So you wanna download this one. And then the second one is the Shortcuts app. You're gonna need this one as well, just to change the app icons. And if you type Shortcuts in, it's this app here that you can see with this icon. So download those two and then you'll be ready to go. So the first thing I definitely wanna do is go and change my wallpaper. So I'm just gonna go over to my photos here and you can see I've got some on here. And there's two here, this black and white one, it actually looks really cool, I think. You've also got this blue one. I think I'm gonna go with the blue one this time around. So obviously just set that as a wallpaper, click that option, go right down to use as wallpaper, click on that. That looks pretty cool, I must say. And I've got perspective zoom on, which I think looks really good as well. So yeah, definitely gonna set that as the wallpaper, just set that as my home screen. That's great, so yeah, definitely set now. That looks really cool. And then we'll just go to customize all of the widgets. What you're gonna have to do is firstly, just search for those and you can do a Google search for these. So literally black and white app icons and you can see they all come up here. So this is exactly what I searched for in images and you can actually put in pretty much uh, what app you want. So if you want like a WhatsApp one, then you just need to search for WhatsApp and it's gonna come up here with you. So all you have to do is just literally click on those, download them, click on share, then you can just download. Pretty much just choose all your app icons for the apps you wanna change. And then when you're done, they'll be in your photos. Also to get the QR code, just literally type in black and white QR code. So this is, maybe it could be like a picture for you or something else. I just chose this just to show you, but it's all in images. You can download these QR codes or any other images that you want. Maybe you can just set like an image from your album that you wanna put there anything that you want. So let's just swipe out of that. Once you have all those saved in your photos, then you can go into Widgetsmith and this is how we're gonna basically put that photo as a widget on the screen. So if you get into Widgetsmith, this is what's set up. You can see I've got some images in here already. So this is really easy to edit. So I'm just gonna swipe left on all of these and literally delete them all so you can see what you can add. So there's small widgets, then you can delete the medium widgets, and you can also have large widgets as well. The way that you add widgets is really, really simple. Just click on that. Then it will come up with basically this stock widget. And at the moment it's a calendar. You can click on that calendar or that widget to bring up this screen. Then you click again on the default widget. That takes you through to all the edits you can make. So you can pretty much just add all of these that you want. Whatever one you think looks really good, you can choose. There's loads and loads of different ones in here. And actually what you can do is change the font to anything that you want within the app. You can also change the tint color. So that looks really cool, especially with dark backgrounds. Maybe you want like a lime or something, looks really good. And then the background color of the actual widget as well can all be changed. It's really, really simple. But what you can do basically is actually just go up and then find photos. So this is the way that you can add any sort of image that you want. You then have to press selected photo, then go into choose photo. That's gonna go through to your album. And there it is, you can add any photo that you want. You can add these really cool ones of sunsets. So I'm just gonna add this black and white QR code because it kind of fits with the theme just to show you. Where it says default at the top, you just hold and swipe down this option. There it is, small one is there. You can click on it. Also just click save if you wanna make sure that you've saved it in there as a widget. Now I'm gonna show you how to add Widgetsmith widgets onto the home screen. So let's just flick out of Widgetsmith app, back on the home screen, same way you add all widgets, which is just long and long hold on the uh, home screen, long press I mean, then hit the plus button in the top left hand corner. That's gonna take you through to the widgets screen. And actually you can see Widgetsmith right here. So this is the one that you want to add. If you can't see Widgetsmith, it's not coming up here, you can go and search for it. Just so just type in Widgetsmith, which is the name of the app, 
right there at the bottom, you can choose it. Then you can choose actually what size of widget that you want, so small, medium, or large. If you remember, we didn't add any medium or large widgets in terms of custom icons that we created. So that's really not gonna be something we can put there. It will just come up with the stock icon, but the small one we did edit. So I can actually add widget here and look, it's come up with that widget already. I can then press done to have that and that's really cool. Now, if you wanna change this in any way, it's really easy. You can just long hold on Widgetsmith, go to edit widget, it will take you back in here. You can see we had small one. If I click on small one, that's the only option now. So I can't really change it, but what's really cool is if you actually go into Widgetsmith itself, so the app, then you click on add small widget or medium widget or whatever, but I'm just gonna choose small widget for now. It's gonna come up with that stock icon again. So you can go in, then press this one. And you know, for example, let's just put a day and date, really simple. And I'm gonna change actually the tint color just to make it kind of lime green because I think it goes really well with this dark theme. Background color. So we go out of here, then we click save. And that is the second widget we have. If we swipe out of Widgetsmith, you can then long press on here, go to edit widget, then click on small one. And it should come up with the second option now. So we can click on small two. Then when we click out, there it's changed to that other widget. So pretty simple in terms of changing what Widgetsmith gives you. I'm just gonna go back to the QR code though, because we're gonna add another widget on here to actually tell us the date. So we're gonna go to widget one, yep, back to the QR code. The important thing now is to get those app icons different. So we have to download an app, as you can see here, called Shortcuts. So I'm just gonna put this on the right-hand side screen, press done. Shortcuts allows you to change the icon images and it is quite complicated. Click on Shortcuts, then you need to go Add Action. After you press Add Action, you need that scripting icon right there with the X, so click on that. Then from there, click on Open App. Now, what you're doing is telling the shortcut app to basically open a specific app when you do this. Now you have to click Choose, which is right beside the word Open. Click on that, then go and find your app. So I'm just gonna click or search for WhatsApp. It's right there, so I'm gonna click on WhatsApp. So it's creating a shortcut to the WhatsApp application. Now what you have to do is go to those three dots in the top right hand corner, as you can see now, so I'm gonna click those. From this screen, you then go into add to home screen. So press that option, it's gonna take you through to this screen. Then what you can do is firstly rename the app because you don't want new shortcut, that's not gonna be very good. Name it to WhatsApp obviously because that's what we're linking it to. When that is done, click on the icon on the left hand side of the app's name. That's gonna bring this box up and you can take a photo right then and there with your phone, do whatever you want. I'm gonna choose photo because I've got the app icon in my phone. So choose photo. Which one do I want? Definitely want the WhatsApp icon. And as you can see, it's black and white, so I can't see anything here because I'm in dark mode, but I'm just gonna choose this. And you can see it right here, the WhatsApp icon is now added. So I'm gonna click add on this one. That's added to the home screen, that's really great. So I'm just gonna press done click out of there and it is right there. We've got a really cool dark WhatsApp theme app icon on our phone. So I'm just gonna hold and press this and pretty much drag it over to this part of the screen here. You can do this with all your other app icons. I'm not gonna bore you with it. I'm just gonna do it right now and then get onto the next part. Yeah, the Instagram one looks a little bit strange. I could probably find a better icon, but you get the idea. You can go and search for them I'll get the good ones and put some links in the description to uh, the apps and also just some icons and things. So if you wanna get any of these, look in the description. I'll try and put as much in there as possible. What I wanna do now is just go back into Widgetsmith though, and I want to add a medium widget, and I wanna click on this one to edit, then go through to the editing screen for here. I like this design, but I do want to change the tint and color to this lime green and the background color to this kind of see-through one. That's okay for me, so out of there. Then I'll click on save to make sure that that widget is there for me. Swipe out of Widgetsmith, long hold the home screen, Press the plus button on there to get the widget screen up. Then I'm going to search for widget smith. Click on widget smith to get all these options up. Click on the medium widget. Click add widget to get that onto the home screen. Then click done. And this is something that may happen for you. There's kind of a bug in the app. So if you just hold on this, then click edit widget. Then you can go to choose like this. 
click on medium one so it's right there so you're choosing that widget that we just edited that should now come up with the widget that we had there you can see so what you have to do now is just rearrange the home screen as you want to get basically all of the new app icons in place and I think that looks pretty cool. Definitely the Instagram needs a bit of work, but overall a pretty cool option there using both Widgetsmith for the small and medium icons and then some custom icons using this shortcuts app. I hope you think it looks cool as well. As I said, look in the description below. I'll put all the links in there that I can. If the video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.